I've never really met a dog with a sense of humor like this. Do you sense a sense of humor from her? A thousand percent. Because she's like, all... I swear there's... she has such human tendencies. I know... Okay, so your dog's name is Lily, is that correct? Yes. So we will connect with her. Um, I won't run through, I guess I'll run through briefly, just some differences with animal communication versus intuitive mediumship. Um, it's very, very, very similar to intuitive readings for humans. The difference being that animals will often focus on if there's any needs that they're having well obviously if ever that they can't communicate to us they'll they'll bring that forward in readings also they focus a lot on soul relationships so mm -hmm. what they feel our soul relationships are why they've come into this lifetime with us why they're a member of our soul family etc so they kind of go into that a little bit as well as you know just kind of evidentially getting into their life here with us as well so pretty much anything's fair game. It's very much like an intuitive reading with a human, only with an animal. And it works the same way, seeing, hearing, feeling. Does she have a stubborn streak sometimes when like you call her or you want her to come? Yes. Because what the first thing that she's giving me, well, she, she is agreeing to work with us, but the first thing she's showing me is taking one step towards me, but then sitting your butt down and just not coming any closer as though like, sometimes I just refuse to come when I'm called or I'll come part way and then I stop. I come when I want to come sort of reference. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Like some dogs are like all zippy and they'll be like, I'm always coming when I'm called. Like I'm all about <laughs> it. She's like, oh no, I am, I am into it when I am into it sort of thing. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, sometimes. Um, <laughs> Did you pick her out of a litter? She was, did, okay. So it wasn't like you went to the Humane Society and chose her, like you picked her out of an actual litter. Yeah, because she's giving me a reference to at the end of a rainbow when you went and chose her. Don't take this the wrong way, but if she were a human, she'd think highly of herself is the feeling that she gives me. I don't know if you ever get that impression from her, but she's kind of funny. Um, oh yeah, oh, but she she's loves herself. very aware. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's taking me to the end of this rainbow, and there's a litter at the end of the rainbow, and she's like, I shined in the litter or something. <laughs> I don't know. That's the feeling she gives me. She, she makes me feel like you beeline for her. She wasn't the last one left. Does that make sense to you? Was she not the last one left? Correct. Okay. Because she's making me feel like you beeline for her. Out, out of the litter. Does that make sense to you? Did you pick her or did they just choose her no, for you? I, you I picked, picked her. her. Yeah. yeah. She wasn't the first one I picked up though. Okay. But you went for her because yeah. she's making me feel like I did that. Like I'm the best choice. <laughs> Not arrogance, just with a little bit of attitude. <laughs> so she wouldn't be, if she were, you know, like a human female, like she wouldn't be arrogant or anything she just has a little bit of attitude about her is the feeling that she has she gives me i could see that <laughs> when you brought her home too she doesn't make me feel like she was timid there wasn't timidness of adjustment does that make sense to you because mm -hmm. she's referencing like being brought home and just kind of being all about it being all about it going everywhere not the type of puppy that goes and hides or anything she didn't take time i mean she does puppy things but she's not like scared does that make sense yeah. to you 100 percent. she's like this is my human this is my human this is where i'm supposed to be she was confident the whole time she just knew that you were hers and she was yours she was all about it <laughs> she has a sense of humor about her i've never really met a dog with sense of humor like this do you sense a sense of humor from her a thousand percent because she's like, all i swear there's... she has such human tendencies i know everybody says that but like for real because she has no separation anxiety from like leaving her mom and leaving her her dog siblings or anything she's giving me this image of you taking her and she's like see ya <laughs> yeah. like literally that's what i'm hearing and like that's the image she's giving me <laughs> And it's very interesting that she has all, she has like so much confidence. Okay. So when you picked her up, were you already with your boyfriend? Mm -hmm. You and your boyfriend got her together? 
-hmm. And did you both go to pick her up? Mm -hmm. Okay, because she showed me this image of you carrying her. I don't know if that's literal. You carried her out of the place. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how she's showing it to me. She's showing me like you carrying her out and your boyfriend walking next to you. And she's got this superb confidence and your boyfriend's pretty confident too. One of the reasons that she pulled you to her in that litter is because she sensed that she wants to help you with your confidence. It's interesting. It's like she puts her head here. She shows me this image of, um, which I, I feel like she probably does this. When you hold her, she snuggles in here um, with her head on you. There's this motherly daughter type relationship, but also in terms of like you being the mom, she views it as she wants to help you because she sees how bright you're shining, but that is dimmed. But like, she could see like how bright he is, meaning your boyfriend, and how bright you are supposed to be. And mm -hmm. how confident she is that she's she, she makes me feel like I need her to I need to beeline her to me. Like she is my person. She is mm -hmm. my mom. We are like lock and key. We are it. Yeah. She, I'm hearing that's where the ma like that's where the magic happens. Like we are magic. I can we can help each other. We can help each other. As far as running goes, I, I don't know a whole lot about dash hoons, but they don't run like super fast, right? But they're, pre they're pretty quick. Does she run around your apartment full speed or something? Because <laughs> she's showing me like rip roaring around there. And I'm like, I thought Dash Hoons didn't run so fast. <laughs> I don't know, man, it's a myth. But like, does she do that? Yeah. What is the May connection with you or her or your boyfriend? Or is there a May reference somewhere with you guys? My birthday? Your birthday? Did you get her around your birthday? Or is that just she's talking about your birthday? Probably just birthday. birthday. Okay. She's showing me putting a birthday hat on you and like, but she's like snapping the string on your chin and she's saying snap out of it, snap out of it. Were you pretty around your birthday this year? Were you kind of like down in the dumps or like not really like into it or like low or something? Yeah, past few years has been like that. This year was a little bit different though. She's making me feel like your birthday this year. She's like, snap. I, I, I literally like I'm hearing snap out of it. Snap out of it. It makes out of it. it makes sense to me. Okay. And she's saying you're more than this. I don't know what that means. You're more than this. You're better than this. That sort of reference. And I think that Lily is using this just as an example conversation. Okay. Because I imagine that she hears a lot of conversations like this. <laughs> she probably does. <laughs> so it's just kind of a reminder. Again, it all goes back to confidence, right? Confidence to trust in your own intuition. Confidence to trust in your own growth. And confidence just to know that you are worthy of standing on your own two feet. And confidence to know that you're worthy of your own boundaries right mm -hmm. and it all encompasses of like pulling you in to begin with right and it's super interesting animals are so smart because if you think about it she's showing well she's showing me parallel lines in the air if you think about it when you go to see a litter of puppies a lot of the times it's very chaotic they're all kind of over the place sometimes like kind of jumping all over each other especially when people walk up to them and she was I know what I want. I want her. I'm going to help her. We are meant to be together. And she's drawing parallel lines because your can be kind of chaotic sometimes. She's metaphor, she's creating this parallel lines because you hear like a lot of barking around you and you're the one who's standing there and you're the one who's kind of expected to just kind of take it all in and like filter it and you're expected to be the leader of the pack or, you know, mm -hmm. from her perspective. Yes. And she's like, she's like, no, 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 no. I know how to lead this pack and I'm going to teach her. Like she needs to have the confidence to set those boundaries and she needs to have the confidence to know exactly what she wants. 
and to go after exactly what she wants and to decide what she wants and to set those boundaries accordingly. And that's why we're together, right? I'm trying to ask her if there's anything that's going on with her body at all. She's not had any health problems really at all. Is that correct? <laughs> Nothing with like a right front paw or anything, correct? Well, I stepped on her yesterday. She was in my way. <laughs> on her right front paw? I don't remember which paw it was, but that makes, yeah, actually it probably was her right. Yeah. Okay. Because as I was scanning her before, the only thing she was really giving me, which I didn't feel like a huge deal, was she was making my right front paw feel a little bit sore or heavy. I almost thought maybe I put my paw on like a dead bee or something. I got stung. That's sort of what it would have felt like. But getting stepped on would make sense too. Same sort of feeling. So I think I'm going to disconnect from her with that. 